It's been a true privilege uh, to have served as the principal investigator on a definitive phase three trial assessing the use of MR guided focus ultrasound with the InsightTech Exablate device for treatment of painful bone metastasis. You know, this is a patient uh, population uh, that includes typically uh, people with painful bone metastasis who've previously had radiation and have persistent or recurrent pain. Uh, these are patients with typically limited options. Oftentimes they're on long-term uh, narcotics for pain management with the associated side effects of narcotics uh, such as fatigue, uh, constipation, uh, nausea. And it's very rewarding to be able to offer these uh, patients another option uh, that has the potential to provide durable pain relief and improve their quality of life. The primary endpoint of the study was to assess the response rate uh, to MR-guided focused ultrasound as opposed to sham treatment. In addition, we also assessed the impact on quality of life as well as the safety profile. This, importantly, was the first phase three trial assessing the use of MR-guided focused ultrasound in oncology. Uh, it was designed as a randomized trial, uh, randomized three to one between MR-guided focused ultrasound and sham treatment. I think it's important to point out for those patients who didn't respond on the sham arm, uh, they were typically offered uh, the ability to cross over and receive the study treatment within a couple weeks. 17 of those patients did choose to receive the study treatment as a salvage option. Our report included 134 patients on an intent to treat analysis, uh, including 100 patients on the focused ultrasound arm and 34 patients on the sham arm. Uh, and what we saw was a very both statistically and clinically significant difference. We saw a 67 percent response rate in these patients who had typically been through radiation and had persistent or recurrent pain as opposed to 21 percent response in the sham arm. In addition, the response was durable. Our endpoint was to look at where the improvement in pain was at three months. And what we saw importantly was a rapid improvement in pain on the treatment arm, such that within a day, the average decrease in the NRS score was 1.8 points, nearly two points from day one. And that continued to improve through the second month where it plateaued with an average decrease of 3.8 points on the sham arm. The improvement peaked at a decrease of 1.2 points within a month or two, and then started to head uh, back towards their baseline at 0.7 points at three months. Quality of life improved uh, from a clinically meaningful standpoint, even within a day of treatment. Ultimately, our patients on the MR guide focused ultrasound arm experienced a 2.4 point change, which is really a very dramatic and encouraging change, whereas there was virtually no change, essentially no change at 0.1 point on the sham arm at Brigham Women's Hospital. We started to explore applications for MR-guided focused ultrasound for bone metastasis almost a decade ago. And so it's been a long road but an extremely gratifying one to see these really compelling results and to know that we have a technology that can make a difference. And to see these people come in a week, a month later, walking, smiling, telling, uh, telling us about all the things they're doing and how they're back to their normal routines, it's extremely gratifying. And it really hammers home the point that as oncologists, we really need to pay uh, very keen attention to the pain our patients are suffering.